بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه أجمعين إن شاء الله we will continue discussing our topic of the importance of keeping our tongue at bay and making sure we say only what pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذ يتلقى المتلقيان عن اليمين وعن الشمال قعيد when the receivers, collectors receive, collect and record sitting to the right and to the left Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us about two angels who are tasked with writing with writing everything that we do and say. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasizes the fact that they write everything we say as well in the following verse which we will discuss in the next video inshallah. One of the interesting things about the word kalima which, uh, which translates to a word basically al kalima is arabic is that the scholars have said it comes from al kalm which means a wound because similar to how a wound impacts the physical body negatively a kalima a word has the potential to impact our souls and our our, our hearts in a negative manner and in fact many cases the wounds inflicted by the tongue are much more severe than the wounds inflicted by other things. That is why Imam Ali radiallahu anhu says, "Jarahatu sinani laha al-tiamu, wa la yaltamu ma jarah al-lisanu." The wounds inflicted by blades will heal, will eventually heal, but the wounds inflicted by the tongue will never heal. We ask Allah subhanahu wa taala to protect us from inflicting any wounds with the tongues that Allah Azza wa Jal has blessed us with. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.